All right, so Antonio asked a very good question that's re relevant to all of us, which is, um, if I were to summarize uh, sort of my joyful productivity advice for uh, somebody who is feeling the overwhelm and um, how to prioritize and wrangle it all, here's what I would say, right? Um, to me, it comes down essentially to a really balanced calendar, right? That, th that is sort of like a, like a grounding, centering tool for all of us because, and if I may philosophize just for one minute, um, my personal worldview, maybe my spiritual beliefs, you might say, and you could please translate this to your own, is I, I, I believe that we have this intuition, this very deep intuition about the soul's possibility and that, you know, I believe uh, part of our soul is connected to source right now. It's like we believe that we have all the time in the world and we have all the capacity in the world to do everything at once, to go everywhere at once, to talk to every spirit and soul at once because I think in the larger picture, it's true. Um, and yet somehow our soul has decided to play in this little body, in this third dimensional time that is frustratingly linear <laughs> and limited because this is the video game that we're playing, you know? And so, um, you know, and I think, so I think to me, it's good to, to remind that there's nothing wrong with that intuition because that's actually the greater truth. You know, you do have all the time in the world and you do have the capacity to do everything all at once um, without overwhelm. The problem is that this, this human brain is what gets overwhelmed. And so that's number one. So therefore the grounding tool for the human brain for, for this timeline, for this body, for this life is to me the calendar because the calendar is that piece of art we get to create for this particular life to say, how am I going to spend each waking moment for what priorities? So the calendar is the grounding tool to say, well, that's how I'm going to spend my time in an intentional and purposeful way because I can't do all of it at the same time, even though I intuitively think I should be able to. So once you, once you, once you ground yourself with a tool like a calendar, okay, then you're like, well, there's a, there's a, there's a natural boundary. <laughs> the calendar gives us natural boundaries. There's only 24 hours. And much of those hours we're doing sleeping or self-care. <laughs> so <laughs> goodbye, you know, X number of hours already. Now we're down to, well, in this eight hours or however many hours you work a day, what is the priority now? So then we've got the calendar there. Now let's talk about what, what are the priorities to put in the calendar? Well, I, I always, you know, here's where um, kind of like the Maslow's hierarchy applies, right? Like you start out at the bottom with what is going to pay the bills, <laughs> right? <laughs> what is the most... Um, low hanging fruit for getting clients or for what my job requires of me, the deadline, or, you know, there's also other penalties that are real, such as paying taxes, right. Or paying the rent, uh, you know, paying the bills and things like that. So, so, so the Maslow's hierarchy requires of our calendar to say, well, let's make sure we have those things in our calendar first, a common, objection to that is, well, I don't like to put those things in the calendar because it feels restricting. It doesn't feel fun. And this is yet again, where we touch back into the soul and the intuition to say the truth, I believe with a capital T, the truth of the matter is you can bring your soul into any activity. Even if it's doing taxes, which many of us right now, as, this, as of this recording, are going to be doing. Some of you have already finished. Congratulations. I, <laughs> no, I haven't yet. So many, many of us are going to be doing this soon. Even doing taxes can be done with a bit more soul 
because if we put our intention to it, it's absolutely possible. If we don't put our intention to it, of course it's not possible. So Maslow's hierarchy, back to the calendar. Have you gotten your low hanging fruit, bill paying activities in the calendar? Creating content is not one of them, which is maybe a shock to hear for some of you to hear me say, because I'm all day long <laughs> yelling at you to create content, right? But that's a long-term thing. That's a long-term project that should come after your bill paying thing. And by bill paying, I mean, for some of many of us here who get clients, the bill paying activity is maybe to reach out to our network because there are always clients waiting for you. They just don't remember what you do. It's called our friends, our colleagues, our acquaintances. They forget, I forget, all of us, your best friend has forgotten today what you do. Somebody, somebody just came to them and, and, and said, oh, they were complaining about a problem or, or talking about an interest that you can fulfill, that you can help with, and your best friend forgot to tell them about you. Because your best friend, even your best friends, forget what kind of work you do all the time. And so you have to remind your best friends all the time what you do. Not, not just your best friends, everybody, which is where content comes in, right? Posting content everywhere reminds <laughs> your network all the time about what you do, except once a month, you have to do a concerted effort of saying, hey, everybody, I don't just blog for a living. I don't just make entertaining Instagram reels for a living. You know, Faith, <laughs> I love seeing Faith's Instagram reels. But you got to remind us, ah, this is the service I provide at least once a month. You got to remind us because we forget. Even though we like you, we like your content, we forget. So back to it. Calendar, step one, right? Be becoming friends with the calendar. Realizing the calendar is just your most loyal, one of your most loyal assistants that you could ever have. Very neutral. It's just there and it's always reminding you whenever you set up notifications, it reminds you, you know, gently, hopefully. The calendar, number one, that's our grounding tool for how we create a, a, an artful life. It's our, it's our canvas for our life, the calendar, right? For how we plan our energy. And then step number two comes down to what is the most important activity to put into the calendar? Well, aside from, sleep, self-care, social time, you know, the things that you need. Well, again, back to the Maslow's hierarchy, right? <laughs> Maslow's hierarchy, the bottom starts with, you know, sleep and food, right? And then it goes up to like social time. If you don't have any social time, you'll, you'll feel, you know, you won't feel right. And then it goes up to higher than that. But anyway, so I hope this is helpful as a, as a, as a quick, and everything else in TL, TLC that I talk about, joyful productivity, it really just supports all of that. It supports us to befriend our calendar, to wisely put in the things that are actually important first. So hope that helps. And Kim asked, can you say a bit more about not, activities that are not bill paying? Yes, absolutely. So any activity that you've noticed doesn't result in a new client or a renewal of a client within a, an, a period where you can point to the fact that I did this and six hours later, 24 hours later, 72 hours later, one week later, I got an inquiry for a client is not a bill paying activity. Writing a blog post, making a video, not a bill paying activity. Long-term, sure, but you can't attribute it to it. It's more of a credibility building activity that has a long-term effect. Bill paying activity is, did you email Mary to say, hi, Mary, it's been a while. Wanted to remind you that this is a service I provide. Now, you wouldn't literally say that. That sounds mean or that sounds salesy. But you would use your own charm to connect, reconnect with Mary, reconnect with Bob to say, how is it going? Hey, um, but even just emailing somebody and it has your email signature, even that itself is already reminding them that this is what you do. You see what I mean? You don't even have to, don't even have to mention your business, but you have an email signature there. You see what I mean? So let me know what helps. So, so think about things that you're doing that you can't immediately say, oh, that led to a client, right? 
So like gentle launches is what I'm talking about, where that leads to clients uh, announcing things. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you.